Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel. DJ Benji here, back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at recording in some samples from from a record and then importing them into our MPC and making a little beat. Um, it's very, very simple, but first, let's talk about um, what you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of cables. I'm actually using a Technics 1210 record player, and I've got a DJM S9 mixer, and I also use a SSL, Solid State Logic, um, recording interface um, with that. And um, basically couple of things right you can see on the interface first I'm talking into the microphone here but you can see that my gain levels they're not going into the red it's very very important I don't want the gain on the mixer to go into the red when I'm playing the record almost anybody could do better than that check this out oh yeah so as you can see it's not going into the red and it wasn't going into the red on the mixer either if you don't see any audio coming through, you need to go to MPC, then settings, and then make sure you have the correct device selected for your output and your input. We're going to click on this one here. So we're going to go into our sampler. And what you need to make sure is that you've got everything plugged in. And then once you've got your levels right, you want to hit this record button right here. And then you can hit play on your record and then everything will start recording in. And then once you've got your sample, make sure you hit save. Okay, and we go to our sample edit window, and then we're gonna use the cue links or these indicators to um, find the sample that we want. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Always helps if you've got the zero snap on. just here that's it then we're gonna line those up and then what we're gonna do is hit extract and then load this in as a new sample hit one okay so now we've got a hit one sample what we can do now is we can create a new track and then we're gonna go to click on this one key group and then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and then for our key group, we select this one and we are going to select hit one. And then now we're going to hit the record arm. And then we'll uh, we'll we will do some drums very quickly as if by magic. We'll load some of this in. Uh, we'll make our sequence I don't know sixteen bars long. There we go. Oh, let's just do it. We'll make our sequence. We'll make our sequence four bars long. There we go. Drag this out a little bit. And then we go right to the end. And then we'll go here. So you've got a kick, a clap, and we're gonna put a clap on each of these four. And then we're gonna put a kick down here. We'll probably put that. And then see how this sounds. And then we're just going to copy that. And then here, we're just going to put this in. But what we're going to do is with these, we're going to program different velocities. Just to humanize the beat a little bit more. We're going to go here, 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 and here. So now they've got different velocities right across the board. Copy these out. 
And I think that's what we've got. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change our swing slightly. Because that's what gives it the funk. If we go um, here. If you go file, edit. If you go edit and then time correct and then apply. And that is your super dope beat for today. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. DJ Benji, we love you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.